Hello and welcome everyone. Today we're going to be talking about one of the most uh, interesting and important projects in Dubai. Uh, first of all, this is the wonderful Anne. And this is Will. So the project that we're going to be talking about today is my absolute best favorite um, communities here in Dubai and we are going to be introducing Dubai Hills Estate. Let's begin. All right. So Dubai Hills Estate is, of course, as everyone would know, or if you don't know, it's by MR. And MR is one of the biggest developers here in Dubai. And Dubai Hills Estate, if you were to look at the location, and if you zoom out to the whole of the map of Dubai, you will see that Dubai Hills is located smack right in the middle. Mm -hmm. Here <laughs> we can see um, most of the locations. I'm accessing like, directly the map from the... Um, you know, from the website, the mm. original page, mm. uh, we can see some of the master projects. Uh, they, they have this uh, MR South here that is right next to Al Maksum yes. International Airport. Really big project that was announced like, um, like a while. Like one, one month, one yeah, month one, ago. One, yeah, one yeah. month ago, yeah. Um, so, of course, we have the old favorites like, you know, Dubai Marina, um, we yes. have the Creek Harbor. Um, again, downtown. And the current airport as well. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. if you were to zoom out at the map of um, Dubai, you will see that Dubai Hills is located smack right in the middle between two of the airports. So the existing one and where the new one's going to be, it's right in the middle. If you take downtown and marina, Dubai Hills is also right in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, wherever that they are actually expanding out of Dubai based on the 2040 plan, it is also away from Dubai Hills. So be it in the next 10, 20 years, Dubai Hills is still going to be in the middle of Dubai. That's one of the things yeah. that it's make it like really uh, interesting for uh, investors or uh, you know end users like equally mm -hmm. um, because it's like twenty minutes from downtown, like like fifteen minutes yeah. from downtown. Yeah. It's like like really close to every position, and and that's what it makes it such a like a great hub for everyone to to be there. Yeah. So it is actually the first phase of the MBR city um, for like the, the development and it's a mega project that was announced um, by the ruler of Dubai, the Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum in 2012. But the development of Dubai Hills has only started at 2013, aiming to create like modern, like luxurious mm -hmm. community in a very, very prime location. And it is as big as 11 million square meters. So what yeah. do we have inside, Anne? Um, what can we find inside uh, Dubai Hills? Do we have, I don't know, um, apartments? Do we have villas? What do we have? <laughs> we have everything. <laughs> so we have apartments from studios mm -hmm. to three bedrooms. And uh, we have townhouses. We have, townhouses. We have villas. Uh, mm, we mega have big villas. villas and we have, we have super have... mega villas. Yes, and yeah. we also have mansions there. Yeah. yeah. I think like the most expensive uh, villa in Dubai Hills that I know of mm -hmm. right now is at about 550 million. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's There's around there, right? Around there, yeah. yeah, yeah. So there we can find like these wonderful villas that are like pretty much like handmade, it to say it somehow, um, because they're like luxurious to the very little detail. Yeah. And um, okay, so what do you say if we yeah. begin so jumping? Then no, but when we look at Dubai Hills, so I personally live in Dubai Hills and I was one of the first few people, families, to move to Dubai Hills. And I moved from Dubai Hills from Dubai Marina, guys. Like, the traffic in Dubai Marina yeah. was a lot for my personality. I don't know about you. It's yeah. also really good because of the connection that it has. It has, like, main streets, like, very... Yes. All, all, all around is has, has Al Hale Road on on top of it. Marabella. Yeah, so you have like three different entry points into Dubai Hills. So to yeah. get to get in a traffic jam, like just to get out, it's I'm not gonna say impossible, but it's not usual to see like a traffic jam anywhere just in to Dubai go Hills. Out. No, in no, Dubai no, Hills, no. exactly. Yeah, so like for me, when I go to downtown, it takes maybe 15 minutes. Exactly. Yeah, yeah on like a weekend. So on weekdays, it's it's sometimes it's even faster, especially if it's at night. Uh, because it's only like 12 kilometers away uh, if you take the E44. And then when you go to Palm, it's about 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. When you go to airport, it's also 20 minutes. So like the joke amongst my friends uh, is like everywhere and goes, just give it 20 minutes. Exactly, yeah. just, that's it, that's it, nothing more. You don't need anything yeah, else. Yeah. So just talking about, um, they also get a, a very, um, a lot of energy and effort into the greenery and yes that's the... why it's called the green heart of dubai mm -hmm. yeah i mean a lot of places they call themselves green heart of dubai but when you go to dubai hills you truly see that they actually exactly. locate yeah. up to 40 percent of these 11 million uh, square meters 
just for greenery though. just for greenery so the it has a lot of park is amazing the park is amazing yeah. it has a lot of spaces for running for uh, like bicycle yes. tracking not even counting the um 18 18 hole um golf, golf course? course that yes. it has inside <laughs> which is okay. like really i'm not gonna say crowded but it's it's very well known between the the golf players here the in, in dubai yeah. the, exactly yeah. <laughs> thank you <laughs> Within the golf community is really, really well known because it's it's an awesome place to be. Um, I usually, I, I work in the area as well. You live there, I work yes. there. So I usually just go there and just hang around just to have a coffee because it's so peaceful and so... And it's such a chill place to be. It has a great energy, right? Yeah, I think it's because like, People who are in Dubai Hills, uh, we don't actually go out of the place a lot mm -hmm. because everything that we want, we have it there. So like, when you go to the apartment complexes, uh, easily within walking distance, you have four grocery stores and they are big ones, yeah? And we haven't talked yeah. about the, the one of the main things is Dubai Hills Mall, <laughs> which yeah. is my favorite. That, yeah. one's, that one's my favorite. Yeah, Dubai Hills Mall is definitely a lot of people's... Uh, so and think Dubai Mall, but without the steroids. <laughs> <laughs> that's true, that's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. true, that's true. Yeah. But yeah, it's impressive, the community. So yes. let's... Um... And there's also the hospital. Yeah, the so hospital Dubai and Hills the schools. Is, yes, Dubai Hills is one of the, the, the... It's the home actually for the one and only biggest uh, King's College Hospital. Mm -hmm. The rest that you will find, they are all clinics wise, but then the, the main hospitals would be in Dubai Hills. Yeah. It's a King's College Hospital. They, 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 they are fully functioning now. Everything's great there. And they are actually very famous for um, their cancer department. So here yeah. we have a we have a little map that we're going yes. to be showing you somewhere <laughs> around here. Um, so this is what, uh, what Anne was uh, talking about. This is the Dubai Hills, uh, like the full master plan about it. Yeah. Um, we have the Dubai Hills Mall here. We we're talking about it. Uh, we have some of the villas. We're gonna jump like really quick. We're gonna jump and talk about it. Mm -hmm. uh, we have here, as you can see, we have the King's College oh, Hospital, hospital. as Anne was talking. Yes. Yeah, it's, as you can see, it's like pretty much in the middle of the community between this section over here mm -hmm. and this one over here. So as you can see, it's yeah. right here in the middle. So it's really accessible by everything. We have you can also- show them the golf courses. Right? We can show on the mm -hmm. golf course. We have the um, school here, Germany's yeah. International Gemini. School. And all this area around here, it's gonna be the golf course. Yeah, with like housing communities around it. Exactly. Yeah. So, so it's it's not like you if you buy only one type of uh, project, you will get golf course view. There are actually a lot for you to mm -hmm. choose from. Yeah. Which is why I like the place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we let's start let's talking talk about, about apartments. Okay, let's, let's start talk talking about, about some apartments. Yeah, I think the most well-known apartments in Dubai Hills would be obviously the Acacia and the Mulberry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so these two are actually the first uh, apartments that are up. They are mid-rise, they are not high-rise. It's a G plus 8, uh, some buildings G plus 7, but they are huge. They're, they're as big they as a big. townhouse. <laughs> I think Mulberry was one of the first um, like apartment buildings that were yes. built here in, in Dubai yes, Hills. Yes, in Dubai Hills. Um, yeah. Funny story, when I started working in, in real estate, the first um, transaction that I made was in Mulberry. It was oh, a one really? bedroom apartment in Mulberry, yeah. That is, so I used to live in Acacia. You used to live yeah, in Acacia. Yeah, I used to live in Acacia and like, you know, it was great because when I lived in Acacia, it was COVID times. So I had Ooh. a lot of space. Yeah, I had a lot of <laughs> space. My balcony overlooked the park and we can still go to the park when we see like there's not, not so many people after they lifted the, mm -hmm. what's the thing called where they make you stay at home? Uh, quarantine? Quarantine, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after they lifted the quarantine, we were allowed out, but obviously because I have a young child at home, we didn't want to, you know, go out to the horizon. So the park was exactly. like was like the mm -hmm. the basis of my sanity. The park, the park is about, I think, running tracks wise it is 2.4 kilometers yeah so every day just bringing the stroller out it's like cardio <laughs> it's yeah yeah but it's huge the two bedroom apartment um are, is around like 1.8 square feet starting at 1.6 One, yeah. square feet yeah so it's it's huge do you remember um how much because i personally remember how much again the first construction that i did it was like about maybe one year like one year and a half ago mm. uh, up and down um, so I remember at that time, um, the unit was sold for 1.5. That was that was the price for the one bedroom <laughs> oh, apartment. Oh, no, you should have bought it then instead of selling it. So, yeah. Um, 
how much is the one bedroom? Because I, I know. Do you know how much is the one bedroom now? No, the one bedroom, definitely you're not going to find at that price. Because no, I think no. when you bought it, it was about a thousand per square feet. If I'm right. Yeah. Yeah. No, when you sold it. When Sorry. I sold it. Yeah, right. <laughs> it was about a thousand per square feet. But today, on average, if you can get something at 1.8 um, thousand per square feet, in any any buildings or any communities here in Dubai Hills, you are considered very, very lucky. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. That's the thing. Yeah. That's and Dubai Hills is very well known for the um, it's 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 the rising of the prices. It's mm. it's because people keep buying there. So it's it's an investment it's an investment in a short term and in the long term. It's it's a great investment in my opinion. No, so, so okay, so let's talk about a case of my client, right? So my client owns a two-bedroom apartment in Acacia. He bought it at around 1.6. And he, so when he came to me, he didn't want to sell it. He recognized that that was an asset and he got one of the bigger layouts. So he got a corner unit facing oh. the park, two-bedroom, it's huge, right? And when he came to me, he was like, okay, and you know, I have a problem. Like, I want to rent my apartment out, but my tenant is only paying 80,000. Okay. 80,000 per year on a 1.6 million no. unit. It's actually good. Yeah. It's actually good because it's, uh, you know, when you think about like the ROI and everything, and then I was like, okay, you know what? Like when he came to me, it was post COVID. So obviously the prices went up yeah. and everything because, oh, by the way, guys, like Dubai Hills, when it was like launch, launch, when people started coming in, it was smack right during COVID times. So that's why the prices was low. It was never meant to be that low. The prices right now, it is what was planned. Yeah. So that that's the thing. So anyway, yeah. take we're back. So here. So then we. So I took that apartment, uh, we did some uh, mini, you know, right, Fix, cleaning up a yeah. little bit here and there and everything. And the apartment was rented out. So uh, guess how much? Uh, too bad. Um, yeah. Too bad, I'm going to say... Yeah, and this is uh, two years ago. Two years ago. And the oh. tenant's still there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, I'm going to yeah. say like maybe a hundred and... A uh, uh, hundred? No, 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 no. A hundred and ten was about that kind of price. This was two years ago. Two years yeah, ago, yeah. It was like yeah. probably... Yeah. probably 70 or 80. Nah. I rented it out at 200. Ooh. Yeah. Well yeah no, no. <laughs> no, it's because I thought, so I told him, you know what, like when, when we, obviously our job is just not to open the doors. Exactly. We have to study the market. We have to see this. And I, I think the leverage for me doing in Dubai Hills, working in Dubai Hills is that I live there. Mm -hmm. So I see a lot of like, you know, who's coming, who's going and all that, all these movements, who's selling, which price and all that. So I get like a, like a more personal look to it. Yep. So then when I did that, um, I saw that, uh, you know, other units are getting vacant because the landlords, they all, obviously they want like the price that is meant to, yep. that it's meant to be that kind of price. So I, he was ready to settle at 150. He was ready to close it at 150. I said, you know what, like, give let's, me a week. Let's, let's be aggressive a little, bit, yeah. a little bit. Let's push it, you know, like maybe other tenants out there watching is going to blame me yep. for that. <laughs> yeah. But I think for an apartment in that location with that kind of amenities, and you are, you you are and one of the big around around two thousand square feet. You know, like if we round up, it's about two thousand square feet. His apartment is about one thousand seven hundred, almost eight hundred square feet. Yeah. So then I think two hundred is it's aggressive at that time, but I closed that rent um, first viewing within twenty four hours of the listing going up in one check yeah so it's not that we are the one jacking the prices up it's not that landlords are the one you know being greedy and everything but because the demand is there mm -hmm. because it is so hard for you to find a unit there and it's really demanded <laughs> yeah. it's always been it's so hard it's always been yes okay now let's talk about all the other apartments you okay. know, there are okay. a lot of people, okay. they don't actually know when they think to buy hills they only think like apartment wise mulberry acacia mulberry, they only acacia. yeah because they're the, the most um well known in a way yeah but yeah, yeah. Okay. right now, current crowd's favorite besides these two are Park Ridge, mm -hmm. Executive Residence. Okay, yeah. yeah. And Park Heights, Park Heights Park Point. Collective. So these, collective, definitely. Collective was a game changer, by the way. Because of Collective, the price per square feet for Dubai Hills went up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because Collective was the first one with like more of a studio size. So then, but their prices are like not 
not directly per square feet as well. So they just went up like 40% because of that. So yeah. let's show people what we're talking about. So yes. Mulberry here on the same map that we were showing before. Um, over here again, we have Dubai, Mil uh, Dubai Hills just for you to have reference. Yes. We already mentioned the hospital. So uh, Mulberry is going to be right here. There's th these uh, buildings. Yeah, the total. Um, we were talking about Acacia over here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, we have Park Ridge in this area. Uh, we have Collective, uh, Executive Residences. Um, collective again so we have we have like this whole section over here is gonna be pretty much um, buildings and we haven't even mentioned the ones that are um, launching that are under construction that pretty much get they get sold they get sold out completely in within, a day. <laughs> within a day within a day remember palace residence mm -hmm. yeah so like when they launch palace residence which is smack right by the by the mall yeah yeah everybody wanted one and I was like, man, it's 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 crazy it's that uh, agents are fighting amongst each other. You know, they were like, oh, give me my token. I need I need seven tokens. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So Palace Resident was sold out in, if I remember correctly, four hours. In, yeah, in four hours. In four hours. And so this is this is around ten years after the community was being launched, and it's still hot. And this is what Dubai Hills means, guys. This is this is what we're trying to. We're just talking here. We're just trying to show you things. But this is what Dubai Hills means, mm -hmm. not only for us as uh, you know realtors here working in mm -hmm. Dubai or working specifically in Dubai yeah. Hills, or it doesn't matter where you work. But this is this is what the whole community it's trying to put outside there, like put there yeah. for everyone. Now, yeah. All the investors want a piece. Like everyone wants a. Uh, um, a piece of this because it's it's everyone wants it. It's, yeah, it's, it's it's huge. I mean, huge. MR built downtown for sure. Mm -hmm. Marina, Dubai Creek. You know, they have all these bigger ones. But you know, fun fact that a lot of people don't know, Dubai Hills is actually the flagship for MR. Yes. That's why they put so exactly. much effort in it. Exactly. Yeah. And with all these new developments coming up, new new projects launching, the prices per square feet are still going up. So it means it's not too late for people to go in still. Yeah, because you can still get capital appreciation. The ones that are already there, you get both ROEs and ROIs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ridiculous. Project <laughs> coming, guys. Let's keep you updated. Let's keep you updated. Yeah. Okay, so let's jump into the villas. Oh, that's your favorite, no? Let's so jump into the villas. Only does villas in Dubai Hills. In apartments, don't challenge him anymore. <laughs> it's not like that. It's not like that. But yeah, I like the villas. Yeah. I like the villas. Yeah, okay. He likes the villas. So yeah. let's jump. Let's jump into the villas now. Yeah. Okay, so as we said, we're gonna start talking about the some of the videos. We're gonna do it really fast because we don't want this video to be like super long in yeah, a way, like boring, boring for you. No, yeah. no, no, no. So we have many things to talk about. We're gonna get back to uh, Dubai Hills. We're going to do some, some, some other stuff here. But yeah. let's let's really quick. Let's jump into one of the projects that I've been working uh, with for the last maybe I don't know, like six, seven months. I am really um, drawn. I was really drawn into this uh, project. And the name, the name is Sidra. So the prices here for the three beds and prices for the third, they are, ah, by the way, three, <laughs> four, and five bedroom independent villas, okay? Yes. So, and uh, prices for the three bed. About five million per se? No, no, that was like very Please long ago. <laughs> <laughs> How much is it? So the prices uh, right million. for the four three million. bed, no, they are the, like between 6.5 to 7 million. Again, you know the prices here they're really um they 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 change yeah. in accordance to the position of the villa inside the community yes. um if it's Hi. corner exactly if it's corner if it's and also if it's um renovated if it has a pool it's of course gonna be more expensive yeah. Yeah. i've seen some of the three beds go for 7.5 million um i think again, the most expensive three bed that was sold is around i think 11 13. 13, 13 million 13 yeah, upgraded yeah. villa 13 upgraded million. villa so, imagine buying it at off plan you know, around what I say, two point. 2. I 8, have that 8, information. 6? I have that information. So actually, yeah. I'm going to before 2. we continue, 7. I'm going to yeah. stop pulling the actual prices so you can see again what we what we mean when we say about Dubai Hills. Okay. Yeah. So off plan, the three beds were starting at drum rolls, two point <laughs> six four nine two for the three seven. beds. Two point six five. Two point, two yeah, point two point seven. Five? Just make it round. Imagine buying it at off plan. 
and then you live in it for a while, you get some rentals in, made enough money from rentals, you want to renovate it. By the way, then you sell it at 13 the million. starting rental for the three beds, it was 145,000 per year. No way. Okay, now. No way. Now, <laughs> they are, I think, like 350 to 400. Yeah. And, and basic unit too. Yeah, yeah basic, basic unit. unit. No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah basic yeah, unit. Yeah. So for the four bedroom, the four bedrooms, uh, the study price was 3.1 million dirham, okay? And they are selling, now, if you can yeah. find, actually my last um, transaction was uh, four bed in Sidra. Okay. Uh, we sold it for 8.4. 8.4 is a good price 8.4 is a good, good price. 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 Yeah, 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 it's, it's a, a really price. conservative yeah. price uh, talking about the Sidra Villas and again, they can go all the way up to nine yeah. for the same same reasons we were we talking. We just put in an offer for a four bed for one of my clients at twelve, because uh, location is good. It's a exactly. single row, green belt, uh -huh. slightly upgraded, but twelve. <laughs> they, there you can see, and the starting price again three point one. You can you can see yeah, the the difference yeah. here. But so, those of you buying right now, don't look at when how much they have. Yeah don't, yeah, don't don't look at that because capital appreciation will still be ongoing. Don't ever RC compare yeah, don't, don't the compare. the the original prices with the prices mm. they the projects have now. Yeah, you're gonna go crazy. You're you're gonna go cry at your home. There's so <laughs> many people that that what happened with the one of the buildings here. I think it was the which one. Uh, the one of the palm that people wanted to buy, like it was like starting price like like two million or something, like really long ago. No, the, the palm you cannot compare. No, the palm a lot of people didn't have. Um... But there's many buildings here. The starting prices were like two million. Yeah, they're yeah. selling for That's six. That's why buying off plan is always good. That's why always if you have the patience and the money to actually and the the view like the side to actually wait to know which projects yes. are the best for you to yeah. invest. That's that that. That means everything for you. I remember one of my clients saying, "Off plan is not for the faint-hearted." No, you no, no, no. You need to be very brave because yeah, you, you need, need to, to have brave. faith. Yeah. You need to you yeah. need to have someone um, someone good actually, someone yeah, good actually that can advise yeah. you. Yeah. Um, not to put you for any project, but someone that actually knows what you want, thinks about your uh, position at the moment. Yeah. Like what what do See you the need? Development of Dubai, you know, as to like you know, we will be able to project as exactly. to which, which next community is upcoming and everything. And if you go in early enough, you're gonna make this kind that's, of. That's that's actually your job. Make Dubai, who's gonna manage. That's yeah. that's <laughs> actually our job. It's not to sell just to, for the sake of selling. Oh, like no, we're not I selling we're not selling laptops or or, yeah. or watches like anything. We're selling like real we're selling like, assets. Exactly. Yeah. So that's that's our job. Like yeah. to search ahead for that and just. Um, you know, tell them. Sorry, guys. Will are... here is very passionate about his job. <laughs> okay, so let's go back to, okay, to the London property. Last let's one. Last one's going to be the yeah. five bedroom. Yeah. Um, and they're selling how much now? Like 15, between 13 to 15 price, million. Right? It was going at like 20. That was one that we viewed at 20 million. Uh, 20 million. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the original price, guys, again, <laughs> this, is, this is nuts. <laughs> Uh, 3.899 yeah. so it's pretty much 3.4 uh, 3.9 uh, yeah. just to make a round yeah. number 3.9 million theorem yeah. so you can see from 3.9 yeah to 15 million <laughs> it's 15 minimum 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 yeah, yeah so yeah. it's it's not so this, yeah. this is what it means so, guys so, when we asked you to buy something women business yeah, yeah. because we have numbers like that <laughs> so uh let's talk really fast about one of the bigger um uh villas in, in no, Dubai I Hills. Think we should tell them like what are the types of you know landed properties that are available in Dubai Hills first and then we can pull up one of them okay as an example yeah, yeah. all right so we have Maple which is the townhouses mm -hmm. and um, executive residences have townhouses as well yeah and we have club villas we have club villas Sidra. club villas right yeah. next to the, the to the golf course. course yeah by the by the driving range actually yeah yeah Beautiful. Then we have Golf Grove. We have Golf Grove. Golf, that is Golf Place One and Two. Mm -hmm. We that we're getting bigger there. We're we're getting, bigger. Yeah, we're getting, we're getting bigger, bigger there. Yeah, and then we have we have um, I think Pumps Hills Fairways. Golf Place actually, you were talking about it. Golf Place yeah. Two. Uh, last transaction, uh, fifteen point eight yeah. uh, million. For the plot area, it's eight thousand six hundred and seven. Uh, square off, feet and a golf place too is just handed over not too long ago actually. yeah not too yeah, long ago but off plan if you were to buy it off plan it was going at about six we have uh parkway vistas uh, around yes. eight thousand square feet as well at like 14 million so that's up and down that's how it's moving yeah, the, yeah. that's that's the 
average range as to if you are not looking at either maple, golf grove, or cedra, mm -hmm. then the next jump would be that. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, we exactly. also have address field crest. We have the address have villas, the address, yes. The and we have the new, we have the new apartment buildings, and we have new launches. I think it was yesterday, the day before. Yes. Yesterday. So speaking of new launches, um, Dubai Hills is still ongoing. You know, it's a huge place. Yep. The, the, the demand there is crazy. Mm -hmm. So new launches are popping up like mushrooms, right? But people, no one I know, all my friends in Dubai Hills, we don't complain about constructions. No. Yeah, I because they, they they are doing it in such like a seamless way that it doesn't bother us mm -hmm. on our day to day. Kind of so far, yeah. yeah. So we have Berkeley, which is the new latest launch. It's by Soho Hotel. Do we have available units there? Uh, for now, uh, for if you now? want an EOI, just let me know. Just man, <laughs> I would like to put in an EOI. So Berkeley is one of the rarer apartment buildings that would have a studio. Yeah. Yeah. So starting price is about one point two million. One point two. It's a very good studio. entry point if you you know you want to dip your toes into investing in Dubai Hills if you don't already have. So okay. this latest visit, the um, uh, launch, it has studios that have one bed, one bed and yes. two bed? Yes, so okay. let me pull it up. So there's studios, one bed, and two bed, bed, and no three beds because no they have beds. the studio. But the size is huge though. Like um, What's the size for the two bed there? One, one bedroom is um, almost 900 square feet. That's and they have bigger one ones. I mean, it's starting, starting. It's starting, yeah, yeah. Fifty square feet, and for the two bed, it is around a thousand five, thousand four, thousand five square feet, which is, and which is. The generous. price for the what is the price for the two bed? Okay, so price for two bed starts at two point nine million. Two point nine million. Uh, price for one bed starts at like one point eight, and then uh, which is the gen general ones at any prime area, mm -hmm. and studio starts at one point two. Yeah, okay. which is good. Yeah, and this is not by MR, so they just bought a plot from MR. Then we have the Club Drive, we have, mm -hmm. the Park Lane, Parkside Views, Greenside, Golf Grand, Elvira, Ellington is building. Do we have El El yes, there? Ellington, Ellington has also one. There. Yeah, but actually one of my favorite I don't think that's a real word, but I'm going to say it anyway. Favorite test. <laughs> my most favorite. <laughs> my most favorite off-plan development that I have actually worked on is 399 by National Park. It is amazing, guys. Like it, the two bed, it's about two thousand square feet. Comes with a maid's room. You know, I don't know. I maid's love, well, yeah. I love that project. Anyway, sold out. So yeah. And then we have palace residence, which we, we have the palace residence. Now. It's really the, it was yeah. really demanded when when yeah. when launched. Yeah. So in Dubai Hills alone, we have address, we have palace, mm -hmm. and we have Vida. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so all these branded apartments and communities are there. The projects, they are all there. We have mall side, park side, socio, golf residents, you know, a lot. Many different. We so, many again, we have a lot of content to make yeah. video and yeah. just because we don't want anyone to, um, you know, feel like too overwhelmed <laughs> about this. Um, again, from the perspective of someone that works and lives there, uh, to someone that just works there, focus, for, you're like just focus, focus yeah. There, so yeah. again, if you have any questions in the future, um, both our uh, social media and yeah. and the records are gonna be yeah. like down or, here. Or somewhere. you can just you know type in the comments on like what you want to know more about Dubai Hills. Uh, we were actually planning to do like a comparison between Dubai Hills with other communities. So just comment where are you currently staying, mm -hmm. living, or uh, planning to buy, and uh, we will do the comparisons for you. Exactly. So just yeah. just post down down there. Um, what project would you like us to either review or compare to Dubai Hills? Like, let's make up some kind of a, like a fun interaction between you guys and us. Yes. So we're welcome to, um, you know, open for suggestions um, always. And yes. again, and we look forward to seeing you again in our next video. This was fun. So again, <laughs> wonderful Anne, it's here for and you. And Will. <laughs> See you next and time. Guys. Bye. Bye.